Click 21. Welcome back to a new video, guys. Today I'm gonna to be showing you a little bit of gameplay from the 32-bit mouse and keyboard pack. Yes, I'm using a mouse and keyboard with the Cronus in. Now, this is on a PC, of course. You can still do this on console if you're a keyboard and mouse user and you want to use this on your PS4 or your Xbox. You can still set it up as well. I'm not very good with the keyboard and mouse. I'm just going to go ahead and throw that out there. Unless I'm playing Valorant or CSGO. I never play in Warzone. I'm just going to show you a little bit about the aim assist. The anti-recoil. And then what you need to do to set it up. So let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Alright guys, so the first thing you need to do, this is my setup right here. You're going to need to have another mouse and another keyboard. This is why I probably don't do these videos very often. Just because the problem is you're always going to have to have another keyboard hooked up and another mouse hooked up. So once you've got that hooked up, then you'll be able to plug in the keyboard and mouse you want to game with. This one right here, and then my mouse right here right into the front of the Cronus, and then you're good to go. Ignore my dirty mouse pad. So let's go ahead and jump into Zen Studio, and then I'm gonna show you a little bit of the gameplay. All right, guys, so now that you know how to plug it in, like I said, make sure you guys have an extra mouse and an extra keyboard. My problem is I'm always using the wrong mouse trying to navigate on the computer just because I'm so used to grabbing that mouse or I'm typing on the wrong keyboard. So just kind of keep that in mind. It is a little frustrating. That's pretty much why I don't do a lot of these videos. Before we get into the main part of this video, I did want to mention two things real quick. We do have an affiliate link through NordVPN, guys. If you want to try this out to get easier lobbies, bypass some of that skill-based matchmaking, of course, there's a big meme out there. All your favorite streamers are using a VPN to get easier lobbies. Definitely check it out, guys. 30-day money-back guarantee. The link will be in the description below. There's also a special two-year plan right now if you want to go ahead and sign up and try it out. Like I said, if you don't like it, you can cancel it. It also works on console, so check out my old video on that if you're learning how to set this up on console. And if you need help with your Cronus in general, guys, go ahead and join up on the Patreon. We've had so many people join lately. Now we've got the kill shot scripts on there, and then we've also got the brand new Demon Time scripts, which we're updating as of right now. This script is absolutely nuts. All you got to do is join up. It's already in there. I'm going to be uploading a lot more tutorial videos even Call of Duty gameplay class type videos to help you maximize your gameplay the most, you know, stuff like that if you guys are interested. Or if you just want to support me, guys, go ahead and join up on the Patreon. I have a lot of mods in there that do most of the work. I pop in there a lot as well, try to help when I can. So I can't thank you guys all enough for the support. If you need that one-on-one -on -one help, if you want access to all the kill shot or demon time scripts, make sure you guys join up on the Patreon. Other than that, let's get back into the good stuff. All right, so once you've got your keyboard and mouse plugged into the front of your Cronus and you've got your other keyboard and mouse that you're going to use to navigate on your computer with or whatever other device you're using, you can go ahead and set up this Call of Duty Warzone Season 3 mouse and keyboard pack. Now, you'll find that right when you scroll down, it'll say MK beside it. That means mouse and keyboard. Now, one thing you'll want to do when you set this up, I don't have more than one profile set up because I don't play on mouse and keyboard that often. I feel like Call of Duty is more of a controller game, if I'm being honest. But in the future, guys, if you like this video, if you want to see more mouse and keyboard Cronus videos, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you comment below, and then we'll go ahead and do it maybe for Apex and Halo and maybe even Fortnite and other games like that. If you guys are interested, I want to know what the people want. So let me know in the comments below. Make sure you guys smash that sub button if you're not subbed already and hit a like on this video. Setting up this pack is pretty easy guys all you got to do is set up your profile hotkeys i've only got one profile set up so i'll go ahead and just use one for that key basically what the cronus is going to do it's going to detect your keyboard and mouse but the output is going to be as a controller so you're going to get aim assist with your keyboard and mouse and you're going to get anti-recoil slide cancel all that good stuff just like you would get using your controller but you're actually using a keyboard and mouse so the first thing i would do is set up a profile to However you want the anti-recoil to work, totally up to you guys. I've only set up one so far. Now, of course, scrolling on down after you get through the profiles, you set those up for whatever hotkeys you want to switch to. 
if you're using a certain profile on profile two, say it be the XM4 and the Owen, and you wanted to use that profile when you get your loadout, you could just hit two and it'd switch to that profile for the anti-recoil values that you'll put in in just a second, which I'm gonna show you. Now they do have hotkeys where you can adjust your anti-recoil and everything like that. I recommend binding that to maybe like F3, you know, for the anti-recoil and then you could do F4 or F1 for the aim assist, which we'll get into. I'll show you what I've set it up as uh, in just a second. So basically the way I've got it set up, guys, if I got the F1 for the aim assist adjustment, I've got the game pack menu hotkey as F2. Blocking game rumble, of course, is enabled, which I don't really think your keyboard is gonna vibrate. I don't really know that's when there, but anyway, let's move on anti-recoil make sure you guys enable that and then of course adjust these values to whatever you need depending on what you know sensitivity you play on what kind of mouse you have what system you're on you're gonna have to adjust these values accordingly I went ahead and cranked it up just a little bit just to test it out and then of course you've got your vertical and horizontal horizontal I'd always go at least negative one and then of course for your secondary make it a little bit stronger because your SMGs are always gonna pull up a little bit higher um, so make sure you go ahead and crank that up a little bit higher than your primary um, so that's going to kind of work for the anti-recoil and then we'll get down to the aim assist you'll see all your different profiles like i was talking about you can adjust different recoils depending on what guns you're using for those profiles whenever you want to switch between them i don't use too many different guns in warzone so i'm just going to leave those the way they are for now and then if you guys like this video maybe we'll get more in depth in the future scrolling on down guys it's pretty much just like your controller pack whenever you get into all the good stuff guys you want to make sure you change your extended round to whatever gun you're using so i usually go 60 round for the primary and then secondary is usually around 50 unless you use an o and you might want to crank it up to a 60 profile swap just like on the controller guys you're going to switch that to automatic so it knows you're going between your primary and your secondary weapon and then we're going to definitely enable aim assist now they do have the new taylor assist b5 plus boost I'm still gonna use standard just for the sake of this video. We'll get into the Taylor aim assist settings and all that good stuff maybe in the future. Like I said, if you guys like this video and you wanna do more of them, um, all I've really done for the aim assist is turn down the radius a little bit, turn up the fire strength a couple notches, the steps up a little bit, and then the fire step up maybe one. I haven't really adjusted it too much just to test the aim assist out. This is all personal preference, of course, depending on how good you are tracking. Like I said, I'm absolute garbage when it comes to keyboard and mouse, half fat fingers, but I wanted to go ahead and get that sense of aim assist and anti recoil just to show you real quick. I'm not really going to show you a lot of gameplay, but just kind of in the game how it works. Other than that, guys, you have other shot mods if you're in multiplayer. I wouldn't recommend using them in Warzone. And of course, one thing you do want to do is turn on your slide cancel and then auto ping if you're into that. Other than that, there's nothing really else I recommend actually turning on. So go ahead and hit play once that's done and it'll save. So while it's saving, guys, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that sub button. Let me know if you're using mouse and keyboard. If this is your first time in the channel, guys, make sure you subscribe and let me know in the comments below. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and go over to mouse and keyboard settings. One thing you will need to do is make sure that your polling rate on your mouse is at 250 hertz. Now you'll have to do that. I have a still series mouse, so you actually have to go into that software and change that. And then your DPI has to be at a minimum of 4,000, okay? It's not always gonna pick up which kind of keyboard you're using. Just because I'm using a Rosewell keyboard, it's not gonna show, you know, depending on what type of product it is. It does show that I'm using a still series mouse, but it still works nonetheless. And of course you can go in here and adjust your sensitivity, different binds if you wanna bind it to different things like that. That's totally up to you guys if you wanna do any of that. I'm leaving it the same. And in the future guys, if you want to, you can actually import game profiles right here guys. So if you wanted to import the Warzone profile or whatever profile it may be, I'm not gonna get into that in this video. Maybe in the future we'll get into it. Like I said, depending on how much interest you guys show in this video, we will get into that at a later date. That way you don't have to change any of these bonds. But go ahead and change whatever bonds you want right here, depending on how you move. Uh, for me, it's not really too different um, from what I'm using. It's still got your WASD and all that works just like if you're playing on a mouse keyboard. So I'm not really gonna change any of this. I did turn my sensitivity down to around a 12. Uh, it just depends on how fast you play with keyboard and mouse, but I'm not very good with it. So I'll be honest. So that's pretty much how you set it up guys. Once you have all that, you can go into device input and make sure that you have everything picking up uh, as far as it'll say keyboard and mouse. And then of course you'll see that the output is Xbox 360 because I'm on PC. 
And the only other thing I really did is I uh, unchecked enable PS4 speciality for right now. And of course, we can turn it on and off and see if it makes much of a difference. So far, I haven't really seen a difference. So I'm going to go ahead and jump to a game, kind of show you how the aim assist works, how it glides to them, and then how the anti recoil works. And then after that, we're going to take off. So let's go ahead and jump into some gameplay, get into the good stuff, and then we'll see you on the next one. Alright guys, so when you first pull up the game, make sure you guys know which keybinds you have bound to which buttons because you're going to have to navigate the menu with your keyboard just like you would on your controller. So it might take you a minute to remember how to actually type X. For me it was spacebar and then I think X or C is the back button. So remember that first of all, I've got the voice chat disabled and also the game chat just so you can hear me. I'm just going to show you real quick guys how the anti-recoil works. Now of course you'll still have to leave your input as a controller. So it's going to show you using a controller when you're actually using a keyboard and mouse. So you can see right here the anti-recoil is of itself i'm going to use a different gun just to kind of show you you know this gun doesn't have much recoil on it but the aim assist is still there guys this is what you want with keyboard and mouse which is pretty crazy you know you have a huge advantage when you're using a keyboard and mouse but let me change uh let's change to a gun that has a little bit more recoil and just maybe i can show you let's try maybe the brin slide cancel all that still works but the, as you can see the aim assist is just pretty nutty on keyboard and mouse I'm not very good on keyboard and mouse, I'll be honest with you guys. So let's go and drop the game, see if we can get a couple kills, show you some recoil, and then we'll take off from this video. I'm talking to my teammates, and uh, they're probably wondering where they want to land, but that's okay. And like I said, guys, I'm very bad at keyboard and mouse, so if it looks a little shaky, that's because I'm just, I don't play keyboard and mouse unless I'm playing Valorant, which is very, very rarely, or GTA, or anything like that. So let's see where these boys want to go. I always like to go prison or usually chemical. If you haven't done the phone thing, guys, where you can actually get all the remotes and all the cells and then go to the answer, uh, the phone and get all the key card, guys, you can go ahead and do that. Um, let me kill this guy real quick. It's just the biggest difference for me when you're using a Cronus with keyboard and mouse is the close range fights, of course. Uh, you get a big advantage there. I'm playing with no sound right now, so I can't hear anybody if they're coming up behind me or anything. So just kind of keep that in mind as well. Uh, but for the anti-recoil, look at that. Keyboard and mouse, I'm just holding down left click, uh, and it's good to go. And like I said, the controls are still going to show a controller, uh, so keep that in mind. You're not doing anything wrong. That's just the way it is. Let's see if we can get the aim assist uh one more time for you guys and we'll take off and then like i said let me know in the comments below if you want to see more of these uh videos uh but right now i just want to do a basic video and then kind of go from there it's still super, super sticky guys i know there's a lot of streamers out there that may be using this as far as uh when it comes to keyboard and mouse i know a lot of people say that uh there's some streamers that may use it just because their anti-recoil is crazy on mouse where you have to pull down but i don't think it's the case necessarily some people have good anti-recoil but don't get me wrong i still feel some streamers are using uh cronus with keyboard and mouse to get that aim assist and like i said i'll show you the anti-recoil one more time it's actually pulling down so i might have to turn the value down Oh my god, yeah, it's just totally different than playing keyboard and mouse by itself, guys. But that pretty much does it for this video. Like I said, uh, it's not bad playing keyboard and mouse for the first time in forever. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. If you want to see more keyboard and mouse gameplay. I'm playing with no audio right now, actually, guys. So, uh, it's not too bad if you ask me. All right, well, I died. So there you have it, guys. Let me know in the comments below what you think. We'll see you on the next video. Peace and love. We're out. Deuces.